It's like when you forgive somebody who wronged you, you pretty much subconsciously acknowledge that that person has caused pain upon you. Welcome back to the Junior Men's Podcast. My name is Finn Lawler. I'm your host. The point of this podcast is to help you guys navigate life while also, you know, helping you guys have a good life and a fun life at the same time. So let's jump right in. Today's topic, we're going to be talking about the F word, forgiveness, and like what it means and, you know, how to how to like forgive people and how to really just learn from it and accept it. So really the definition of forgiveness, hmm, well, it's complicated, but in a, in a simply put way, you basically mean, it basically just means like you accept that someone has hurt you or that you have hurt someone else and you do your best to reconcile with that person. And, you know, it goes way beyond that, but simply put, it can also be, you know, defined as like, uh, oh, you hurt, you hurt me, big whoop, we can move past it. But it's a lot easier said than done. So, I mean, it's also basically saying like, hey man, it's okay, even if it's not okay, because forgiving somebody basically it helps you and it also helps them and like depending on the circumstance at which the pain was inflicted let's say like if someone was hurt emotionally or something which can dig really deep forget forgiving them whether you were the person that was hurt or you were the person that hurt the other person forgiving yourself is also really important But we'll get to that in a second. But basically, the definition of forgiveness can be defined as, hey, you hurt me or I hurt you, but I can move past it, you know? And I think forgiveness also goes in the sense of letting that person know that they did hurt you rather than being like, oh, no, it's cool, it's cool, and then be like crying behind the scenes. Like, no, you... The, for for the forgiveness to happen, the pain or the suffering, if you will, needs to be addressed. You know, it can't go unnoticed and unaddressed. Because if it does go unaddressed, it'll fester into something really, really bad. So that's kind of what forgiveness is. There are other definitions on the inter- internet that'll kind of relate to that. But essentially, it's just, hey. You hurt me, but we're good. Like, I can move past it. Like, we're good, you know? So, that's the other thing. Forgiving others? That can be one of the most easy things, and yet one of the most difficult things to do at the same time. Like, you know, close loved ones or something, when they they wrong us, it's like, yo, that's not cool, but also kind of like, it's whatever, you know? And it's... It's like when you forgive somebody who wronged you, you pretty much subconsciously acknowledge that that person has caused pain upon you. And then from there, you can either forget about it and move on, or you can ruminate on it for some reason. But when you do that, it's kind of like, look, did you really forgive them if you're constantly ruminating on it and like still obsessing on it? It depends on, it it varies from person to person, but like, did you really forgive them if you're still thinking about it? Come on. Like, forgiveness, of course, forgiving others, it can either be, you know, you know, depending on what the circumstance is, it's like, yo, whether, whether they said something bad about you or something else, it's like, it's up to us to just be like, hey, that was painful. And I'm still kind of mad at you for it, but I can accept that you're doing your best and you're working past it and you're working through it and you're putting in the work, you know? So that right there is how you forgive others. Yeah, there are people out there who aren't even aware of it and like 
they're like, oh, no, 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 I'm just doing, I'm just, I'm still here because I'm basically perfect. Like, no, no, no. Those are the kind of people I would advise that you stay away from because those, those are the kind of people that think, oh, I did nothing wrong. I didn't do anything wrong. You're crazy. And they start gaslighting. Well, in some cases, <laughs> they start gaslighting you. He's like, oh, you know, no, 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 you're in the wrong. Hold on, hold on. So anyway, those are the people that you can't really, you can forgive them without letting them know you know what i'm saying so it's kind of like anyway so, so for the majority however if you like if you know that they're a good person it kind of makes it easier to forgive them you know so i mean they're really too the, the majority of people are easy to forgive but that little percentage just stay away from so I think one of the most important things when it comes to forgiveness, not forgiving the other person, not forgetting, forgiving whoever, but forgiving yourself, you know, let's say you've wronged somebody, which I know I have for sure. And, you know, it sucks when it happens and like you apologize and all that to them, but then it still kind of like lingers in your system. It's like, yo, that like, that doesn't that doesn't do anything for you. You know, it's, it's not good for you. You know, it's like you ruminate, you ruminate on it for a while and you beat yourself up over it. It's like, no, 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 no. Don't beat yourself up over it. Just kind of learn to be like, you know what? Yes, I made mistakes and yes, I'm trying to be better and no, it won't happen again. And like kind of be easy on yourself and forgive yourself. Cause that's the hardest part. Yeah. You can forgive somebody else. And yeah. 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 But forgiving yourself, that's where the real battle lies. That's where it's really tough. So go easy on yourself and re recognize that we all make mistakes. We're all humans. Absolutely. freaking literally I make mistakes. Do you probably make mistakes? That's cool. But just go easy on yourself and be, and like, at least acknowledge that you made a mistake, you know, just go easy on yourself. Cause that's mentally, that's very, very uh, taxing, you know, it's mentally taxing. It's like, dude, I don't have time to beat myself up over something I said three years ago. You know, it's like, I know that I made a mistake. And it's like, you know what? Not a lot. A lot of people aren't actually aware that they're anyway, that's another thing. But anyway, my point is here, be easy on yourself, forgive yourself. It's okay. And just go, for, you know, it's like, it's kind of like what it says in, I believe it's Matthew 5, it's after the Beatitudes, but basically an eye for an eye, where you need to reconcile with a brother before you can with Christ. Same thing. If something's on your heart, and you got to forgive yourself, it'd be easier to reconcile with that person first which would make it easier to forgive yourself. So it it's all in the Bible, man, you know? So the time frame of forgiveness really I mean, people forgive at different speeds. You know, it's like some some people may take a day to forgive, a minute to forgive, an hour to forgive. So it's like depending on what the situation is, I mean, there's no really time frame for when you can for when someone will forgive you or you can forgive them. Again, it varies, you know? So it just, all, all it really ma matters in this case is that it just takes time and just patience, you know? And I think one of the, if one of the important things here too, is that God forgives us, you know? It's like, yeah, we, we, we sin and we make mistakes every day. That's just how we are as humans. But the beautiful part is God looks down at us and says, Hey, Yes, you sinned, and yes, you made a mistake, but I love you, you know? So it's, I'm not saying, I'm not suggesting that you go out and continue to sin knowing that God will forgive you anyway. Just it, accountability is also a big part of that. And it's like, there's something reassuring and just beautiful in the fact that God does forgive us. So just keep that in mind the next time you're like ruminating on something or you made a mistake or something just know, remember that god forgives you and he loves you you know but also stay accountable you know 
and forgiveness can be hard. I get it. Like it's it are it's those tough and hard conversations that you need to have in order for growth to happen. Because if you don't have those hard conversations, you won't really grow. But once you have those hard conversations, it can be so freeing for them and for you. It's just awesome, right? So, I mean, it may not you may not think you need to have those hard conversations in order in order to grow as a person, but trust me, you do. And whether it's being honest and having those conversations with like a brother or a sister or a best friend even you got to have those conversations in order to, in order to grow as a person and when you forgive somebody and forgive yourself you can grow so anyway this has been the junior mints podcast thank you guys so much for watching and listening to this episode all about forgiveness if you guys have any questions for me feel free to leave them down in the comments below uh thank you guys again for watching and listening if you guys enjoyed this video please drop a like subscribe down below and we will see you guys in the next episode peace